So Fortnite has released a new mode called Fortnite Reload, a callback to Fortnite OG. This is a remix chapter 1 map, adding a few POIs, making the map smaller, and instead of having 100 players, now we only have 40 players in one small map. The way this works is that if you die, you'll respawn as long as one of your teammates is still alive. But once the end game approaches, you'll no longer be able to respawn. Now this became a very sweaty mode, especially when playing builds, and which is understandable concerning this is, well, the chapter 1 map. But even with all that in mind, I can still have a lot of fun with this new mode. And while it is a good addition to Fortnite, I can't be the only one who thinks Fortnite Reload should not be a permanent mode. Well, let's go back to the beginning of Fortnite OG. When it first launched on November 3rd of 2023, it had the biggest launch day in Fortnite history with almost 45 million players, which is insane. It brought back a lot of OG players while also giving the newcomers, myself included, a chance to experience the chapter one map. Personally, I didn't really like it that much, but it was better than the first two seasons of chapter five. And speaking of chapter five, it broke OG's record for having the most players logged in. However, as chapter five goes on, the numbers were starting to get pretty low. And when we got to season three, it hit the lowest peak of players for the chapter. Over two million people logged in. Now we'll cut Rex some slack. They've released this mode at a time where people are just getting out of school or finishing up their final exams. However, that doesn't mean Chapter 5 as a whole is free from a lot of issues. Firstly is the UI change. We can all agree that the old locker felt more simple. I just do not like having the loadout split into four separate tabs. It just makes it more complex. The item shops were also a big disaster. Because of LEGO Fortnite, so many cosmetics like skins, emotes, and even bundles were affected by this change. You'll be seeing the exact same cosmetics over and over again despite having an insane amount of cosmetics to buy. So you'll have to wait until they get LEGO support which can be annoying but like I said like item shops can get better as time goes on and they've definitely proved that throughout chapter throughout this season not only that but we also don't see lobby music being sold in the shops either maybe they need to make jam tracks for them I'm not sure but I do hope to see orbital overload in the shop again and to add on to it, the shop itself is so cluttered and unorganized. I've said this before, but Epic needs to work on making separate shops for each mode. It can get so annoying trying to find what I want to buy. It also didn't help that the decision making on certain aspects were unnecessary, from adding purchasable LEGO kits to now removing cosmetic rarity. And in terms of gameplay, they didn't really do much for Season 1, and the Avatar and Star Wars event made Season 2 into a big disaster. I'm not saying that they're terrible, but removing the themed mythics for the Avatar elements and giving Star Wars more attention than the season itself, it was not a good idea. And I understand that not many people are into a season where the main gimmicks are Nitro, the Fist of Justice, and most importantly, cars with modern weapons. I think with all of these elements, people are just not feeling Chapter 5 as much as the previous seasons. So you're probably wondering, where does Fortnite Reload comes into play? Fortnite Reload came out of nowhere. We were expecting Fortnite OG to return after the Marvel season, which will be after this current season. However, after seeing how low the numbers have gotten, they've created this mode as a last minute resort. I'm not kidding when I say this, Reload was made in less than a month, which made sense because it's just a remix of Chapter 1, but it does a lot of things that Chapter 5 is missing. This new mode brings back a lot of weapons from previous chapters. From normal ARs, the tactical shotguns, the P90s, to the Midas drum gun, even a few mythics and exotics. It also has RPGs, shockwaves, grapplers, crash pads, chug jugs, splashes, and many more. The loot pool is insane and I really enjoy it a lot. Also, it has way more simplicity here. No weapon mods and no complexity, just simple gameplay, and it's something that made me regret not liking Fortnite OG. I mean, I haven't enjoyed Fortnite OG that much, but that's only because I didn't learn how to fully get used to it. When you compare Chapter 5 to Fortnite OG, it's night and day between the two. Chapter 5 is still fun to play, but now I have to worry about what attachments I need for weapons. Now I need to fight to collect medallions that may be powerful, but can also make me a walking target. And don't even get me started on how awful the sniper metal was during seasons 1 and 2. 
thankfully is much more tame this season. However, I can see why people love the OG Fortnite. It had no animals, no POIs with music loops, just simple gameplay with wacky and fun loop pools. And right now, Fortnite Reload is doing that just well. This is a very fun mode to play, and that's pretty much the main issue. What's also an issue is you watching this video while not being subscribed. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on for new videos I upload. Thank you. I've heard a bunch of people and content creators saying that Fortnite Reload should be a permanent mode. And as fun and chaotic this mode is, keeping it permanently will only hurt the main BR. I think people are either too attached to Chapter 1 or are blindsided by nostalgia. Yes, Chapter 1 is a cool map, but they can't keep it forever. Battle Royale has to continue being the main focus. If they were to keep it permanently, Relo could potentially get in the way of Battle Royale. And while the numbers may drop down at times, it could take over BR with updates and seasons if they ever think of making this permanent. And if it doesn't, it could potentially die out. People would get bored of Reload and start craving for something new. I know I may be reading way too deep into this, but I can't help but feel that they pulled the OG card to save the game, and that's my biggest issue. The fact that they had to pull the OG card to bring the numbers back is really sad. The developers of Season 3 really put their blood, sweat, and tears into making such a fun and chaotic season for this chapter, and it's really sad that people couldn't appreciate it or at the very least adapt to it. And I find it disingenuous that people complain about the other three modes getting in the way of BR. Meanwhile, we we'll use Reload as a weapon to shut down anyone who enjoys the three new modes as well as BR. Look, I like Reload a lot. It's a very fun mode, but I like Season 3 just a little more. And while I will admit that the nurse got in the way of it a bit, I can still get victory royales in the end with my friends and family. I even enjoy Fortnite Festival a lot. It's a very fun mode to play whenever I want to unwind from BR, but I can understand if people don't like Chapter 5 as a whole. They've really dropped the ball with this chapter and some of the decision making and doubling down. I want for Fortnite to continue evolving, but I also want for them to bring back some of the older stuff. Simple weapons, siphon, augments, frequent flag capturing, wacky loot pools, exotics, more live events, and a better UI. I don't think Fortnite Reload should be a permanent mode. It needs to be a yearly mode instead. Bring it back once a year with different twists and turns. Maybe do some remixes of some of the other chapter maps. Duos have just been added at the time of this recording and we're getting trios soon so we don't have to worry about only playing squads. However, I understand why they made this mode with squads only at the time. They wanted to see how well Reload does before pushing out the other two options. And as for Battle Royale, the way I see them making Chapter 6 better than 5 is by incorporating some of the old into the new. If Epic can find a way to do that, then I think they could make the most memorable chapter of all time. However, if Reload ends up being an LTM, can Epic maintain its player numbers and keep their players from leaving once Reload leaves? In some ways, this was an amazing mode to release, but I feel like this could also be one of Epic's biggest mistakes. Can they be able to maintain the player base? Because a lot of OGs will only come back for the OG maps. Unless they do something to make Season 3 even more fun and interesting, Chapter 5 will continue to lose players' interest. But I don't think it'll happen anytime soon. The Pirates of the Caribbean collab is set to release on July 19th. And as I'm recording this, the summer event is on its way soon alongside Magneto and his quest. So I'm sure we won't have to worry about having less content when that time comes. The future of Fortnite is looking brighter than ever. And I can't wait to see what they have in store for the game. But for now, let's keep enjoying Fortnite Reload as much as we can. This has been such a fun week playing Reload with friends and family, but you can't keep Reload forever. I know many people will say that ending Reload would be a big mistake, but that's entirely not true. As I said before, Epic can find a way to maintain the OG players while also pleasing the newcomers by combining the old with the new. At the moment, we don't know if Reload will be a permanent mode or not. Will it be sad to see it go? Of course it will. But when that time comes, Whatever you do, please don't give up on Chapter 5. We still have a lot that is coming in the future. The new Marvel season will be coming in mid-August, as well as Fortnite Mirrors on October. We have Fortnite Festival with Carol G. I I'm assuming that she'll probably be the next artist. And we also have Fortnite OG as well. 
There's a lot to look forward to as we progress through chapter 5. We may have been through hard times and dark times throughout chapter 5, but you gotta admit that season 3 became the saving grace of chapter 5. Reload just gave season 3 an even bigger boost, and I guarantee you that the upcoming events will be amazing. So if you have any thoughts on leaving if Reload becomes an LTM, give Season 3 another chance. Play it with your friends and family, give it some time, and maybe you'll appreciate it more. But regardless of what you decide to do, Fortnite Reload should just not be a permanent mode. Someone bring me back to the fight! Where- Where'd you go? Oh my god, it's just stupid. We are one down. It's the same guy I got me the first time. One more, one more. I got him, let's go. Yes. <sighs> so with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, <laughs> I know it sounded a little bit negative, but like I just had to like I just had to give the give it the truth it needs. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to uh, leave a like on the video. <laughs> uh, but until then, this is Starter Protagonist signing out. As always, go Kikinyo and have a fantastic day, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to join the Star Nation. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, and while you're at it, check out my previous video. Now.